Action. Right, so this is uh, my provision for mothers and toddlers in the Northern Centre. My name is Oscar Tura, and as well, I'm going to be talking about this one. So, um, introduction. In this presentation, I'm going to be looking at the activity and provisions at the Northern Centre currently for mothers and toddlers, which are my target group that I'm looking at. Um, the area which surrounds the Norman Centre um, is quite a poor, like a poorer demographic. So it's, it's like where I live is kind of in that area, um, and you see like lots of mothers and toddlers walking around. Who they might be a single, uh, and they might be sort of together. We don't know. So this is why I was targeting mothers and toddlers, like I said, that could offer that I could offer services for them to attend. Um, in the next few slides, I'm going to be talking about what is currently offered at the Norman Centre and what is my proposal. So available at the Northern Centre already uh, is a younger active kids group, like Callum said earlier, they obviously do one from 9 to 12, there also is one from about the age of 3 to about 6, So, but this is only one uh, about once a week, and it's obviously the price is 50p which is so it's fairly cheap, so it doesn't cost the mothers anything to really get in, so it's 50p, but the problem is it's only run once a week, so that's why I'm going to go on to talk about a bit later on. But, um, my proposal for this would be offer services that would be allow allow the mothers and toddlers to attend the session more often. So having the active kids group, which may benefit the mother, going to yoga or whatever it may be more often, is my proposal for the normal sense to hold. So ha having two or three more sessions um, of an active kids group, or even holding a crash, which I'm going to go talk on about in the next slide. So you've got evidence there of uh, it's already worked. So yeah, Where's so that, I, David Lloyd? No, no, so <coughs> the active kids group is already running and it's quite successful already. But the only problem is that I feel it's only run once a week. So I'm looking to try and boost it up so that more, more toddlers can attend to it. Um, and so mothers can go and attend their yoga, whatever it may, it may be wanting to go to. So my proposal is to offer services and programs which will be beneficial to mothers and toddlers within the area where, where the Norman Centre is. So some of the ideas is run the active kids group around two to three times a week. Um, like I said, uh, I'm looking to also bring in a swimming pool, which I know is going to be very costly, but however, with the financing of Sport England, uh, the National Lottery Fund, and even North, North County Council, we may be able to get a swimming pool implemented into the leisure centre. Um, there's a few leisure centres around here, like David Lloyd and Riverside, who have a swimming pool, and it seems to be a great success. So having one of them in the area will be great for even the younger ones, a bit older than the toddlers, they will be very beneficial to toddlers because if you can get them swimming at a young age, they, when they go near a swimming pool, if they call it a holiday, for example, they'll be able to float at least, is what I'm considering. So, like I said, a swimming pool is going to be costly, but it's successful because David Law used one, and they have a baby aqua class, which is what I'd host um, at the centre for mothers to basically just teach their kids how to swim. Um, like previously said in my introduction, how, how beneficial these would be, I think they'll be very successful. Um, only because, like I said, you see loads of mums and their little kids around the push chairs just looking like they're pretty bored. So having something like some exercise or getting that confidence to go through life and having a bit of exercise beside them and getting, getting them active as soon as they can because they won't, like I said earlier, the obesity won't be as high later. So how do you take all this to swim into the programme then? So which one? The swimming? Yeah. So no, my proposal is to hold a lit like to offer two so the active kids is a different thing to swimming. But I want to host a swimming class and then also more aqua aqua kids classes and like active kids. Okay. What so size like, swimming pool? Anything to play, like twenty five meters. So it's not nothing Quite too big, big but it's big enough to hold like a session, like an aqua baby session, which can give, you know, toddlers the ability to learn how to swim. Okay, so that pool then, yes. like most toddler pools are only about sort of two yeah. and a half feet deep, aren't they? Is that? Oh yeah, no, it's not like deep, deep, deep. It'd be like how, how tall like their mothers is, so they can teach them like they hold them how to swim. Sort of okay, it's a very niche, small market for a very expensive swimming pool. Yeah, I know, but like I said, the Riverside and the David Lloyd, they both hold an apple baby session, and they're very successful in terms of they get a lot of people coming to the session. Is that in a costs. normal sized pool then? I, I don't know if it's in a normal size, but obviously this pool would be more beneficial to obviously the toddlers, but also we've looked to expand it so that people like the children could come use it and they're older than a toddler. So it'll probably be like a, 
for them balls that goes from like shallow ends like a big end. Right over the ball. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Um so continuing on, this this help this can help obviously the market that I'm targeting. So mothers and toddlers within the area that may need that sort of supporting help or trying to get their kids active. Um, but also help them in terms of if they need any like sort of support at home. So if they're struggling to find time for someone to look after their kids, a crash or an active kids session is what they could go to. So to promote these new services, I'll use social media. Obviously everyone's on social media at the moment, so we're looking at Facebook, Twitter, um, anywhere in the sort of social market avenue we look to promote our thingies. Um, newspapers potential, um, obviously that's if I don't think mothers will probably be reading newspapers because they're not very common now. Um, and we'd also <coughs> use like leaflets and posters around the uh, sort of the area. Um, especially like nurseries and like little sort of kids sessions where they might be attending like schools. Uh, we'd look to promote our sort of services there as this is where most likely the kids are going to be attending. Obviously, to carry out services that we're looking to do, we need resources like human and physical. So, obviously, physical, we've already got like resources like toys and stuff because we've got an active kids group already running. So, we don't actually need to spend much in terms of getting more toys because we've already got that. But obviously, we have got the physical resource of a swimming pool, which can cost a bit. So, we look to obviously build that once we get fund, funding and finance for that if the plan sort of goes ahead. Um, human, obviously, we've got, again, we've already got staff that can host a session for us, so it wouldn't, again, we wouldn't have to pay for anyone else to come in and host a session. What about the adults, though? When are you looking yeah. to get your swimming pool up and, up and commissioned by? It depends on whenever we get finance for it, or the grant, or whatever, we can allow us to go and build it. Obviously, I wouldn't say it'd be next week, because I've got a swimming pool next week. Probably be in terms of, probably looking at six to ten months. In I'm just contrasting your kitchen. Financing. Yeah, your, your kitchen, the aqua baby, which is absolutely fine, yeah. that's just as and when we would be looking to commission that. Yeah, no, no. So I'm talking probably six to ten months by the time we got the finance if that's possible. Yeah. Um, and in terms of building it, I'm trying to find the right one for the term, uh, for those terms. Have you considered that you might not get funding for a swimming pool because in Norwich there is already quite a bit yeah. of competition for that? Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I've considered it, but I've also thought that I know it could be successful, which is why I want to sort of propose it. Because obviously you've got a centre here which is quite hard to get toys through, living in the normal centre to prayer. And you've got David Lloyd which is very costly. So I'm saying that this at the normal centre, the swimming pool could be fairly cheap at you can go in for like a quid fifty, which is somewhat cheaper than David Lloyd. And going to centre and if you want to try and get there, which you can't get there. This is pretty accessible this area. And it would be easy and cheap to get into and you can have however long you want in there by the time. Okay. Moving on, um, so to carry out this proposal, we'd obviously have to make sure that the procedure of making it happen uh, goes for operation, operational considerations. So that's sort of making sure that we've got the resources, the facility, the staff and the health and safety um, in place ready for our proposal. So for example, we've already got the staff, so I know that's, that we're gonna be able to host the sessions. Um, we always consider health and safety and insurance because that's our, our top priority. And then making sure that it's gonna actually work so, for example, the dining table is quite busy already, but there is spaces for us to add in an active kids group or an aqua baby session. If that happens, if we get the swimming pool, there is space for us to add it in, in sort of like the early mornings, maybe even late afternoon, depending on what we're going to do in terms of surveying people who come in to us um, and asking when it's best suited for them. So we look to add and have that session at the best time for them. Um, so obviously, run the activities, we've got to make sure that we uh, consider capital and style costs. So obviously, in terms of starting up more active kids sessions, we wouldn't really need to add any more costs because we can literally just chuck it in anywhere to the timetable where it's suitable. Um, and we've already got the session, the facilities and everything there because it's our facility, we don't need to spend any money. Obviously, the initial cost, the start cost for the swimming pool is going to be quite a lot. Probably talking more than 10,000 pounds for a swimming pool. Um, so obviously, we look to go to someone like Sporting with the National Lottery Fund to North Recovery Capital if they can help us and any other charities that want to influence active kids from like toddler's age up to uh, you know, whenever they, they want to do exercise. So obviously we look to get the best sort of funding and money from that uh, to help us run them sort of sessions. Um, as I was like talking about there, it's going to be costly but financial support is there for us to hopefully succeed and it 
did success that was actually taking a risk or trying to get financing and it's paid off in terms of it's actually been a success because you see swimming pools around Norwich. Like they always be you always see people in it, you always see it's busy, they've always got sessions going. So I think that having an actual paid session at a normal centre with just locals of people who may struggle to get to different areas and cross cross the eat is gonna be hard, I think will be quite successful for us. What are you um, gonna charge? For my final side of like part of goals and my outcomes of this so obviously smart goals are being like specific make sure they're measurable make sure that I can achieve it realistically time bound so the specific thing of all this would be making sure that the children get so much fun out of it make sure they enjoy it make sure they also get a healthy lifestyle out of it because you want to you, know, you want to get down and make sure that they know what exercise and how to be healthy is from a young age and they will carry out for the rest of their life in terms of measuring this uh, success, we want to make sure that every session, so for example, the first week of the Active Kids Move session or the Aqua Baby, we take a number. Uh, I want that session to then increase by 10%. So let's say we've got 10, I want a 10% increase by the fourth week. Um, and then we'll just go on from there in terms of setting our goals and how, how we do it in terms of time. Um, obviously, we want to make sure it's achievable and realistic. So they sort of link hand in hand. Uh, achievable goal is by adding 10%. Uh, Achievable goal would be saying I want 100% or 50% increase by every session. That's not achievable because I don't think I'll get another 20 people turn up to a second session as it's just started up. Um, so I want to make sure that my goal is achievable to myself and also to the normal centre. Um, it'd be realistic, so making sure that it's real to myself, to the normal centre. So, for example, that would be saying that the 10% increase would be perfect for over 10 or 4 weeks, but then that target or percentage might increase should it become more successful. And obviously the time, I wouldn't say a short time, I'd say I would look to you know, check my, what's the word, the outcomes or my proposals sort of every six months. And I think that's a realistic sort of time bound to use as well. On the active kids then, yes. what's your break even target number to cover your costs? So currently that session costs 50p. So obviously at the moment it's quite a successful one. So obviously we're bringing in about 15 people at the moment at 50 people. Okay, so we then obviously look to host more sessions which will bring in more, more sort of profit to the normal centre. Obviously we don't have to pay for anything in terms of staffing um, or resources because it's already there. Okay. Um, so any money so you break there. even target for people using it is quite low then? Yeah, it's very, very low. But um, so obviously only money we make that breaks the even point Profit What's your target then? What's a realistic target? Four. Four. We've got a smart target, yeah. but what's your target number and when do you want it by? In terms of people? Yeah. So, for example, the first week I'd be happy with at least eight to ten people turn up. I then want to increase that by the sixth month. I want to see at least probably about 20 to 25 people. Over a course of a year, if it gets that busy, we then obviously look to host more sessions, yeah. or maybe you can add in something different, which may be a feeling to them. So, across a year, obviously, if there's loads of people, I'd, I'd be happy 50 people apply for a membership, or whatever it may be, to attend an active kids' session. Um, but obviously, then I'll, that may be successful to myself. Yeah. But obviously, if it's an aqua, aqua t uh, kids' session, um, like I was looking at the swimming pool, that would take time. Um, because obviously it's a new thing, um, we'd look to promote it as much as we can. So in terms of that, again, it'll probably be a year or two because that's going to take time to develop, promote, get people in and come and use it. Um, but I hope that it'll be a, a success from the start because it's a swimming pool in the local area because in the area of Normans and the Mile Cross, the closest swimming pool, I believe, is the David Lloyd one. And that is quite hot, quite, quite costly in sort of place. Okay. You, you, you could well get funding to... 
set up a swimming pool. Yeah. Do you know what the running costs would be? Do you think 50p a session would yeah. cover those costs? Probably not, probably not, no. But um, obviously from like the active kids sessions, um, from the actual baby sessions, if they're all successes, um, then obviously the amount of money we make in terms of profit can cover for that. I know it's not loads of money that we're creating, but obviously it's going to be probably enough um, because obviously we get funding from Northern Town Council to help us to probably supply resources to help cover and to help maintain the swimming pool because obviously it's an SA company it's got a council um, funded yeah. pleasure centre so obviously we'll get the funding from them as well if need be to fund anything to help maintain the pool the active kids side of things look yeah. like a low risk so that's yeah. the great thing about the first half of your proposal yeah okay carry on and then the finally is my outcomes of the proposal so it's sort of based on my smart goals but like I just said, you know, making sure that it's a success from the sort of get go. But if it's not, it's not going as well as I thought. I'll give it time, and obviously, if it's not working, I'll look to add, add things that might make it a success. So I'm going to have a look at what the trends are in the market right now, in terms of the UK. Have a look at what they do, and maybe implement it. So like, I've gone a lot to looked at the David Lloyd Riverside, Riverside Centre and see what they've done. I've used what they've done and tried to implement it into what the Northern Centre don't offer. So, for example, an aqua session, we don't offer at all, but David Lloyd and Riverside do, which is a successful scheme that they have. So that's why I want to try and put it into the Norman Centre, because it will be a success, I think, no matter what, at the Norman Centre. Um, so that's really in terms of my outcomes, just making sure that my proposal is successful as it can. Um, in terms of numbers of people, what do you do? Best way of uh, measuring it. So if I get more than 20 people attending it in every session, that would be a measuring, uh, be a way of measuring my success of my outcomes of my proposals. What's their success measure? It's David Lloyd and the other uh, Riverside. What's that for? The for, for both, both their both. And their So at the David Lloyd, when we visited recently, I had a look and I saw about 20 people or more attending the session. They read, they run, uh, run recently run a session on Aqua Baby Sessions and they seem to be a great success. The same with Riverbus, Riverside Centre, they seem to have the same. Um, they have a little section for it. They have about 10 people which is the maximum they can hold in that area. But they run a regular session which would be the attempt but they always have people attending that session because they want to attend it. So it's been running for a long time then? Yeah, what they've Dave... had their show for a while. So okay, well that's usually a measure of success, isn't yeah. it? So that's obviously what our bits are. I wouldn't say session will be a success from the get go like I said yeah. it'll be in terms of over time so you're going to do what they're doing but just do it cheaper basically because obviously the area in which we the centre is in you know, got a poor demographic yeah. so trying to appeal to them is sort of the best way and trying to make sure that they get a health, better sort of exercise health, healthy lifestyle is what I'm trying to look at okay what research have you done to suggest that your kids want so the one that's yeah your yeah. active kids what research have you done to suggest you should be doing this another day? Um, so I've looked at the session already, yep. the active kids one for the younger ones, um, and I've seen it's quite, an, uh, it's quite a what's the word, successful group. And the fact that it's only run once a week is probably quite poor for the centre, um, because if you obviously expand it <coughs> to other days, like a Thursday or Friday, at a good time, it may appeal to more people, because it's currently run, I think on a Tuesday at half ten, um, that might not be the best time for parents to come and bring their toddler to the session. So I'm, I'm trying to look at using it at different times and on different dates, which may be a better time and a better day for other mothers to come and bring their kids because they might be other way, like working during the day. They might not be able to attend during the evening, so I'm looking to try and expand to do it at different times. So that's what I did in terms of my research, seeing who attended and what, who I could appeal to. Um, you mentioned a crash earlier on. Um, is that something that's currently offered or something that isn't offered? No, so that's that's sort of like, it's very similar to the active kids yeah. sort of session. Um, obviously that's more in terms of just leaving the kids there whilst they're there. Yeah. That would be something we'd look to offer in the long term, <coughs> excuse me, if, if this is successful as well. Because obviously a crash at like David Lloyd is where they drop the kid off and then the mother goes to the gym. Obviously this is something I'd look to hold in the long term, should an active kids group or the active baby session be successful or our other groups around us, like the yoga groups, start to blow up 
um, when mothers are bringing kids and saying, why is my kids all they need? They need that support of trying to put their kids somewhere. So opening a crash, which we've got the facilities for and uh, the resources for, would be quite beneficial. But obviously that's something that I had a proposed to be doing this really successfully. Yeah. It's a nice idea. Probably you need to look into the finances of that yeah. a little bit more. Insurance will be very high on it. Okay, I think that will do it. Thanks, Oscar.